Update 15 arrived in Elite Dangerous yesterday. Frontier said there were big things waiting for us to discover together as a community and did we ever just do that? If you've not delved into update 15 then everything we are about to show and talk about can be considered serious spoiler territory. So buckle up because we're going into the centre of the Thargoid maelstroms. If you enjoy our videos please do hit the thumbs up, subscribe and ping that little bell so you see all our Elite Dangerous content and to directly support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also join our Patreon. Links to that and everything else are below. Regulars to this channel will know that it's honestly not often that I'm lost for words but update 15 may have finally broken me. After the content reveals last week we knew some of what to expect and as I've already mentioned FDev had said that big things were waiting for us and they wanted quite rightly for the community to discover these things for themselves. The new pulse neutralizer technology from Professor Palin and 100m egg and spoon race third place medal holder Ram Tar was the key that would lead to what most folks guessed was likely going to be the headliner for the update. The centre of the Thargoid maelstroms. I'd honestly had a degree of nervousness around unlocking the neutralizer itself. It was an absolute necessity to be carrying one of the new pulse unpulsifiers if you wanted to visit the centre of the mysterious clouds. Like a lot of us I recently unlocked the caustic sink modules and whilst they're not absolutely necessary to get through the horrific face melting gases in the maelstrom they really really help and unlocking those had been a significant challenge. You'll find Alec Turner's notes on going through that process linked below if you need some help. Going into update 15 we didn't know the full blueprint recipe for the neutralizer aside from one grelic and, like a lot of folks, I think I was somewhat concerned that the bar might be equally as high. Turns out not so much. The recipe is on screen for you now if you've not seen it and the bar is actually mercifully low. The propulsion elements and sensor fragments are, as at the time of recording, currently only available from Thargoid scavengers or from killing Thargoid interceptors themselves. According to a post from community manager Sally Morgan Moore this looks to have been an error and they appear to be missing from the loop tables of caustic generators in the maelstrom meaning Thargoid combat was never intended to be part of their acquisition loop. We're anticipating that will likely be rectified in fairly short order. Unclassified relics are a commodity and whilst they can't be traded from a carrier they can be passed between players or just created without too much trouble at all. I've linked to Commander Psychit's guide on creating those below if you need it. And energy surge analytics are easily acquired requiring you to just butt heads with the maelstrom pulse itself. Turns out I already had all the materials needed completely by accident. So onto the maelstrom itself then. I've wrestled a fair bit with how to articulate just what it's like getting to the centre of the maelstrom or what it was like for us personally here achieving that goal. Rini was riding shotgun for all of my runs into the centre on launch day and I can't think of an appropriately arty or interesting way to get across what happened to us or what we both saw. I can say that the experience is now absolutely and very firmly seated in my top 2 gaming experiences ever. When we approached the pulse wave front and successfully fired off the neutralizer that first time what awaited us had our chins absolutely on the floor. Having moved into unknown territory just past the wave front we were presented with an asteroid field not dissimilar to a ring system around a planet. That will need investigating and AX mining might be about to become a thing. Beyond the asteroids a colossal Thargoid vessel slowly emerged from the misty no longer caustic surroundings. As lightning continues to crackle in the distance and there's the rumble of the resultant thunder you are faced with this gigantic organic spiralling kilometres across clearly Thargoid in design Titan mothership. Elite Dangerous is a game full of spectacle and it's a game full of cinematic moments and it always has been. These moments aren't set pieces, they don't happen just for you at that moment. It's just the way the game sometimes is and the centre of the maelstroms is the singular most cinematic sci-fi spectacle moment I think I've ever had in the game. 
The Titan, for we now know it's officially called that, emerged from the mists like V'ger in Star Trek and then it just hangs there, brooding. Our first visit was fairly brief and perhaps unsurprisingly ended in a spectacular explosive rebuy screen but on the 3 to 4 subsequent visits we found we were able to loiter for extended periods and observe what was going on for there is indeed stuff going on and we were able to begin investigating and collecting materials and commodities. It's very early days yet but here's what we learned. There appears to be multiple points of entry and egress to the titans, all of different sizes. Watch for long enough and you'll see the new glaive hunter vessels emerging. You'll also see scouts and interceptor classes leaving and arriving at the central large opening which we believe is called the moor. Each opening is covered by an almost gloopy viscous membrane which glows bright yellow when a ship enters or leaves. The Thargoid vessels are able to phase through this membrane. We, it appears, cannot. Not yet at least. We couldn't currently at least find anywhere else on the outside of the vessel to land a ship. There are what appears to be heat venting events at various outlets on the vessel which periodically open up expelling gases from the interior. One of the most surprising things we've seen is that the pulse generation that would normally drive players away can still be seen happening when you're at the titan itself. The actual wave front is generated away from the titan beyond the asteroids but if someone else is attempting to pierce the maelstrom and the pulse is generated you will see what that looks like at the titan level and that alone is worth the price of admission. We're working on doing that event justice in video form at the moment but I can tell you that if you don't know already it's very apparent where the Thargoid scream came from after the Proteus detonation in HIP 22460. This kind of stuff is Frontier's attention to detail at its absolute best. The vessel is covered in turrets at various points that fire either projectiles or a form of explosive seeker missile that we haven't seen before. The latter is fairly slow moving and I was able to outrun them most of the time. The glaives and the gunfire however not so much. There are small bright green abrasions on the titans surface. I fired AX missiles at these in the name of science obviously and I was able to retrieve a material called hardened surface fragments. We've also seen materials called phasing membrane residue and heat exposure specimens being collected by other commanders. Likewise there are various titan related commodities which have now appeared in the fleet carrier commodity market management screen. On at least two occasions we appeared to be observed by a glaive and not immediately attacked. We sat looking at it and in return it just hung there for an extended period looking at us. On one occasion eventually turning around and leaving us alone. Whether this is intended behaviour or not we don't know but I think it's worthy of further investigation, perhaps by the pro Xeno players. Just what the titan specific gameplay loops are we have yet to fully uncover. It's possible for right now that we're looking at purely material and commodity gathering and investigation and that perhaps more may be revealed in the coming days and weeks via Galnet. From a technical standpoint overall update 15 was delivered with the minimum of fuss. The servers came back right when they said they would and the patch seems to have been delivered very smoothly as best we can tell. Update 14 and the arrival of the maelstroms was a big deal for Frontier and update 15 and the reveal of the titans is clearly something they've been building up to and looking forward to for some significant time. It's been delivered largely seamlessly. Frontier should be roundly congratulated for that. What update 15 has shown us so far has left us all here stunned and we do know that this is still not the end of the Thargoid journey. There is yet more to come. What the titans deliver next we'll have to wait and see but here at the burr pit we couldn't be more excited. What was your experience like on patch day? Have you visited a titan yourself yet? And what do you think is going to happen next? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.